Hello, my hearties. A very, very good morning to you. It is me, Scotty McClue, and we're live on TikTok on a Sunday morning. How amazing is that? Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us, and thank you do. Scotty McClue, just for you, chit-chatting on your TikTok. Never scroll and never troll. We're here for you. Greetings, Scotty. Greetings, Alco. Lovely to have you with us. Hunter says, long time, far too long, Hunter. Don't you leave it so long next time, I say. What's up? Oh, nothing at all. Well, in fact, everything's up and nothing's down. That's what it's about. Long time, no see. Absolutely. How long is it? Can you remember exactly? Uh, did you know, where have you been? Yes, indeed. I've been here every single day. So where have you been? That's what I would say. <clears throat> Thanks very much for joining us every day. So fantastic to have you all with us, of course, on a Sunday morning, listening to Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, hashtag Floatai. That's the big one. <clears throat> what about the clown? Uh, oh, yes, indeed. We're not going to all that. Good morning from Sweden. Good morning, Svenska. Lovely to have you with us from Sweden. Are you Irish? Um, yeah, there might be a bit of Irish in everybody, I think, because we're all actually Irish originally, aren't we? Of course, after we left the African Rift Valley. So there we are. Are you Scottish? Yeah, I, there might be a bit of the Scot in me as well, Hunter. No doubt about that. Well done. There we are, Dinky Doo. Thank you very much for joining us. Mr. Bock says, Tech. Uh, would that not just be if you're sailing, I think, probably, you would tack. That's right. You'd go from one side to the other. I'm fully Irish, says Jake. Well, nobody's fully anything. I am actually, Jake, to be honest with you, because I remember somebody saying they were fully British. Now, you can't actually be British because there's no such country as Britain. There we are. It's just really a land mass. But um, I remember somebody saying that then they spatted a cup and had it analysed for their DNA. And I think they were 60% uh, Argentinian, if I remember so. There we are. I'm half Irish and half Scottish, Hunter. Which half, Hunter? Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Very much appreciate it. And dinky do for me, Scotty McClue. Follow us as soon as you come on. That's what it's all about. So as soon as you see Scotty McClue, get following. Because we need to get these followers up big time. I think we're sitting at 16,000. Albion was the name of Britain. That's right, Hunter. Good for you. Hello from Newcastle, says Andrew. Andrew, we love you in Newcastle. Good morning. Lovely to have you with us. How's War Last doing? Uh, follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Dinky do. Thank you very much. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, the world's most humble man, and the father of feminism. So there you are. That's pretty good, isn't it? Hashtag flow tie. First Lord of the Internet. Followers, thank you very, very much. Very much appreciated. Hello from Mallorca. Mikey, are you having a nice time in Mallorca? That's what it's all about. Hi, I like your hat. 29 years last week, the hat. Is that not amazing? And it still looks beautiful and smells gorgeous. Fantastic. That's what we like. So there you are. A very, very popular hat. Scotty McClue's bonnet. Yes, isn't that incredible? 29 years on the radio uh, last week. Just wonderful stuff. Thank you very much. Hello from Western Australia. Alan Mitchell, good morning to you from West Australia. Lovely to have you with us. And fair dinkum and dinky do to all the Bruces and Sheilas. Uh, Andrew is the father of wisdom. That's excellent. Good. We like that. Hello from Mogadishu. I think you do from Mogadishu. There we are. Always wanted to go to Australia. Why not go, Jake, and just see what you think? Sounds fantastic to me. Good morning. How are you? Good morning from Birmingham, the return of Reese. Hello from Windsor, Karen. We love Windsor, dinky do. Hello from Carnusti. Ah, one of the homes of golf. A very bonny spot, Carnusti. There we are. Hi from Birmingham. Keep right on. Absolutely. It's great on over. Come over. 
says uh, Alan Mitchell. So there you are. He's inviting you to go to Australia, Jake. God bless you. Jesus loves you. He does indeed 3X table, but he actually adores us. So there we go. If you scroll through Scotty McCrew's TikTok videos, you'll hear me playing Jesus Loves You on the piano just for you. What about that? Fantastic. Hello from your castle. Yes, indeed. Hello from Lapland. Whose lap are you sitting on in the land? That's what we need to know. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you very much. This splendid life, is it? Lapland life. Lapland life in Lapland. We love you in Lapland. Dinky do. Uh, now, who have we got here? Ryan Smith will send you Dun the Swanee for trolling. There's Ryan leaving us, guys. Say bye bye to Ryan. Our first troll of the morning. And he is toast. Down the Swanee after three. Three. Here he goes. Way to the Ryan. Woo! Gone, finished, toast for trolling. Good morning from Thurso. Uh, good morning, Thurso. Ali, lovely to have you with us from Thurso. How amazing is that? There we go. I don't think anybody tells the trolls. You're up early, pals, says Neil. No, no, Neil. Up early every day, I'm broadcasting early. That's the difference, you see. Good evening, True Blue Floors. We love you. Thank you for coming and joining us, Dinky Doo, I say. Emily, Mike Thompson, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come and join Scotty McClue Sunday morning. Nothing gets past me, you see. And I've got my trusty water. We are laughing. How amazing is that? Tremendous. Good evening. True Blue Floors, it's night time where you are. I know that because you told us. Just come in looking for gold. True Blue Floors, absolutely. And you found broadcasting gold live on your TikTok. How amazing is that? Spread the word, guys. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClue is live on TikTok just for you and saying dinky do. We still broadcast at night. I've not really been on for a while. Yes, we do, certain nights. Uh, so there you are. Hello from Dunfermline. Ah, the home of Andrew Carnegie. Volvo Matic, lovely to have you with us. Hi, Dinky Doo, says Yoha. Hi from Manchester, Dinky Doo. Hello, finding also gold. Yes, absolutely gold on the TikTok. That's right, pure gold, pure gold. Scotty McClue. Pure gold on the TikTok, just for you and Dinky Doo, I say. Follow us as soon as you come on. Thank you, Samanch. And, and thank you, um, everybody on here. Joshy. Hey, from Essex. Whoa, we love you in Essex. Hello, hello from the Philippines. Marif, lovely to have you with us from the Philippines. We are truly worldwide on here. Wish gold would find me. Alan, it has done. There you are. Just look around you and you'll find you're a very, very wealthy man. Scotty McClue's perhaps the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you very much, Jensen. Thank you, Super Z's. And thank you, The Bedrock. Are you German? Nein, nicht German. No, nicht Alemann. There we are. Nicht the Deutsch. Uh, Scotty, what's it like to be working in the radio business? Well, it was absolutely excellent. I don't really know about it now because it's over a year since I worked in radio. Um, I've always worked for great radio stations, so I've been very, very lucky from that point of view. But nowadays, most of radio just so the group can squeeze every last penny out of it. They've, um, you know, it's, it's mainly big groups and it's jukebox radio. So there's very little localness, very little personality. The DJs are just told to say that was, this is, that sort of stuff. They're usually young guys hoping to make it in radio and, uh, you know, they get them for very low fees. So, uh, you know, from that point of view, I think radio now is changing, which is a shame because it's the finest technology. FM radio is a fantastic way to be listening to your music or your talk. There we go. 
Business, business, much of gold. Were you on BBC Radio 1? No, I wasn't actually on Radio 1, Callum. My friends were. But um, I remember seeing the head of Radio 1 coming to hear me speak at a conference. And I thought, what's he doing here? He's the head of the biggest pop radio station in the country, as it was at the time. And um, <laughs> it was there because Scotty McClure has such a massive youth following. Just incredible. Always has had. You know, would you think an old Scotsman wearing his bonnet, and yet we have a massive, massive youth following. You know, morning, buddy. Sending you lots of hugs and kisses. Wolf Blaze, thank you so much, you wonderful, wonderful person. Where are you from, says Cheryl Blossom. Cheryl Blossom, I am from TikTok. No, I'm from Scotland. There we are. Um, it's uh, how many? How it's eight o'clock. How do you have so much energy? Sixty. This is just normal energy, I would say. I wouldn't say anything to excess. Hi, can I get a dinky do? Yes, Hannah. You can always get a dinky do. Did you get into radio because you were face for radio, or is it a happy coincidence? No, I got into radio because I had a face for television, and I started in ITV. And then I went into radio. On the lighter side, I was a serious television newscaster because I had the perfect face for television. And you can still see that on YouTube. My grandfather was from Scotland, but I've never met that side of the family. Ah, Geru, you need to. Yes, find out about your roots. Tremendously exciting. I am from Saudi Arabia, Mark. We love you in Saudi Arabia, and thank you to everybody in Saudi Arabia this morning. Wonderful to have you with us. Thank you very much. Join us as soon as you can. Tell 10 to tell 10. Spread the word that Scotty McClue is live, because everybody on TikTok, absolutely everybody should be watching this right now. I am from London, Sam Jewsbury. We love you in London. Good morning, London. Lovely to have you with us, I say. Good morning, Sir Scotty. Good morning, Geodog in South Africa. Geodog, we've been sending love to South Africa. We've been praying for South Africa. I even offered to come and be your president for two years. You know, that sort of thing. And, uh, of course, strength and love to Durban and to Joburg, Johannesburg, and uh, to Natal, and uh, to, um, to, to everywhere, really, uh, to Pretoria, of course. There we are. Do you love Saudi Arabia? I love the Saudi Arabian people. There we are. Fantastic. I've never actually been to Saudi Arabia. But yes, of course, we love it. Fantastic. Why would we not? It's a part of the world filled with beautiful people. There we are. Hi, everybody. Dinky do. Scotty McClue popping up just for you. 20 minutes to nine o'clock. Never miss a second of Scotty McClue. Never troll and never scroll. There we are. Luckily, things are coming down. Geodog, um, I don't know if you're old enough to remember when the South African police were, uh, they used to use the jambok on people that misbehaved. Am I right? And I just wondered when I saw these looters, is it time to bring the jambok back? Do we want the African police back the way they were? Evening, Duke of Dundee, dinky do. Hi, says Archbugs. Hi, Archbugs. Dinky do, and a very, very warm welcome to you. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, now, I'm not saying that, Graham, because I don't think that's terribly nice. Hello from Corpach. Ah, Corpach, up near Fort William. Yes, Corpach, the big paper mill. That's what uh, Corpach was. But now there's big trouble in Cuba. Yes, there we are. Uh, yes, we need to look at that. Uh, I hope that will that affect the cigars. I live in New Zealand. Has there not always been a wee bit of trouble in Cuba? There we are. Kiwi all the way, says Graham. That's the stuff, Graham. Morning, Scotland. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Mark. I agree. Bring back the jambok. There we are. That's the stuff to your dog. You didn't get much misbehavior when the jambok was on offer. 
Hello, my dear. We're watching from the Philippines. Aishamo, my dear. Good morning to you. Welcome from the Philippines, my dear. Lovely to have everybody with us this morning. You're joined Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. Apparently, this is the most underrated live stream on the internet. How amazing is that? Uh, I'll be up, Ben Nevis, soon. Ah, yes, on your badge. Fantastic. A very nice climb, I believe. I've only just done the first bit, a casual walk, walking the dog. I don't know, is it difficult as you get up? Does it get a bit scree, scree-y? Washington State. We love you in Washington State. Thank you, do. Good day, mate. Do you love animals? Yes, I do, Mark. Very, very fond of animals. There we are. Had animals living with me most of my life. Tremendous stuff. Hi from Ian. I'm from Liverpool. Ian, John, we love you. You're in Liverpool, man. We love the bones of you. Fantastic. <laughs> Vancouver, Canada, says Blues Billy. Blues Billy from Vancouver in Canada. Vancouver Island. Uh, fantastic. British Columbia. Follow us, guys. Where are you from? I'm from Scotland. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mark. Thank you for joining us. Have a lovely day. And dinky-doo, I say to every single one of you, welcome, welcome, welcome to Hashtag Floatai. Uh, good morning. Share the video. Thanks, Alan. Jody and Opal and Jeffrey have just joined us. Jeffrey the Giraffe. How good to have you with us, dinky-doo. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We're very, very busy this morning, and we want to get everybody on out there because you can check out the TikTok videos. They're very popular, and apparently some of them are very, very funny, although I, I don't see it myself, but there you go. Uh, hi from New Mexico in the USA. We love New Mexico in the USA. Do you know that Scotty McClure's following in America is massive? Why is this? Davy from Calder Crooks. There we are. Calder, have I pronounced it right, Davy? Is it true, Scotty? It's absolute 100% fact. I am Scotty McClue. There we are. Join us as soon as you can. Hello, hello. Hello, Meta Morden. The Mexican food so good. Yes, indeed. What do you like? What kind of. Do you like your nachos? Have you ever had your nachos? Welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you from Scotty McClue. Lovely to have you with us this Sunday morning. We're on TikTok Live. This is the big one. Follow us as soon as you come on and join in the chat. Never scroll and never troll. That's what it's all about. Uh, what are some good Scottish dishes? We do a nice fish and chips. We do haggis, neeps, and tatties. We do uh, fresh raspberries and fresh cream. We do steamed pudding and custard. We do mince and tatties. We do scotch beef. We like that. We do the smoked ham. We do the ham shank. All very good stuff. Thank you. How's the weather, Scotty? Alan, a tiny bit overcast first thing. Stunningly beautiful yesterday. Stunningly beautiful on uh, Friday. Stunningly beautiful on Thursday. Stunningly beautiful on Wednesday. Stunningly beautiful on Tuesday. And stunningly beautiful on Monday. We've had a week of stunningly beautiful weather in Scotland. Everybody's getting tired of this. They'd better pull their socks up, I say. Absolutely. What's uh, Scotland like? Always wanted to travel to Europe or oh, True Blue, absolutely gorgeous. I was pleased to learn that fried chicken is a Scottish dish. Yes, of course it is. Absolutely. Good morning from Scotland. Good morning, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, the full Scottish breakfast. The sausage, bacon and egg, black pudding, fruit pudding, white pudding. There we are. Tatty scones, fried bread, pack of best. Oh, thank you for my beautiful TikTok. You're very, very kind. Uh, Rocket Man, good morning. Thank you again. Uh, morning, good sir. Always happy to see you live. Thank you, Bebop. Bebop, Baloo, La, Bop, Bamboo. Uh, your all accents are so rad. I thank you. But we still bry. Of course, we must bry, Geodog. 
Never let's not bry. Don't put rice on it, though. It'll go up like petrol. Oh, my goodness me, rice on the bry. End of. Nice hat. Thank you, La. Killy. That's Killy or Callie. Uh, have you had monkey shoulder? It's three highly scotches. Yes, thank you. Hi, my name is Scott Bebop family. Thank you, Edward. Edward. Edward Scott. Lovely to have you with us, Dave Taylor. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue on Sunday Live saying thank you to. Uh, followers, as soon as you come on, thank you very much. We need to build up our followers. If you haven't followed Scotty McClue, please do. Tap the top left of the screen, hit the plus, check out the TikTok videos. Could somebody be nominated to go and like the TikTok videos, please? Now, where's the Stone of Schoon? The Stone of Schoon, believe it or not, is in Edinburgh Castle, right? You'll see it in there. It used to be under uh, King Edward's chair in Westminster Abbey, where I first saw it. Uh, it got nicked in the 1950s. There we are. But uh, it's back. It was brought back in, I think it was 2006. Is that right? Or was it 1996? My goodness. I can't remember. The years are fleeing in, as they say. Maybe 1996. We brought it back. Uh, and uh, it's in Edinburgh Castle. You can go and see it, I believe. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you can. The honours of Scotland, Scotland's crown jewels. You see, the monarchy in Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, I should say, Great Britain's really a landmass. There's no such country as Britain. Hi there. Would love to live on the island of Islay. Why do you not, Gregory? Go sleep now, says Mark. Mark, good night. You sleep well, dear boy. Zeniel here, what issues is your generation most concerned with? Well, we're concerned with all sorts of things. I mean, yesterday we had a big discussion. Should people be taking the knee? Should they be mixing politics and sport? Taking the knee looks like you're bowing down to racism. Should we not be standing up to racism? That sort of thing. America's better than the UK. And what way is America better, would you say? So I don't think any country is better than anywhere else. I think they're just different. You know, like people are not better. They're just different. Uh, what's it like having a monarch outstanding? Everybody in Britain, everybody in the, the land mass of Britain, everybody in Scotland, particularly in Scotland, England, Ireland and Wales adores the monarchy. They are our first family. Uh, the Queen is the head of state for Scotland. She's our sovereign lady, and she is adored, absolutely adored. And I mean, 95, she's still putting in a full shift. The monarchy don't cost us anything. They're self-financing. It's wonderful. I think the price of the monarchy is a packet of crisps. They bring in two billion pounds, and they cost 168 million. You do the maths. How amazing is that? Uh, so there we are. White Americans are Europeans. Well, we're all originally African, you see. That sounds cool. I much respect for her. Absolutely. Hello, sir. Dinky do. We'll never, ever, ever want to not have a monarchy in the United Kingdom. But the United Kingdom bricks it to cause so much damage that I think the United Kingdom will fragment very soon. There we are. That will be the end of that, I say. Thank you, Lou. How's your day? My day's amazing. How are we today, Scotty? I hope you're well, sir. La Hoop. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, sir, says. Speed and power. Speed and power. Thank you, Lou. Uh, I don't think the Anglo-Saxons were African. Well, everybody was African, you see. They were African before they became Anglo-Saxon. Anglo-Saxon just means Angles from Germany. There we are. I kind of want Prince William to take the throne instead of Charles. Why on earth would you want that? Charles is an outstanding man. He will make an excellent king. There we are. The only thing is, he is knocking on his 73. There we are. So if his mum does an hour five years, he'll be 78. Uh, no, they weren't African. Of course they were, Danielle. Everyone 
was African. This is what you're forgetting, the way the world spins. They then became Anglo-Saxon much, much later. And that's when the skin started to pale and the pigmentation changed because they weren't in direct heat from the sun. Homo sapiens started in Ethiopia. Speed and power, right? Did they move from the African Rift Valley to Ethiopia? Amazing. I know we were all African. I'd like to chase, chase my last name, Ramsey. Though spelt differently, yes, Ramsey. Well, yes, you get a lot of Ramseys. I think the Ramseys are based on the East Coast. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Genetically, we all relate to a single origin in Africa. Absolutely, Geodog. Tremendous stuff. You tell them. I have a clue needs a bit of backup when you get the doubting Thomases. The pigment changed due to sun exposure, not temperature. I don't think anybody ever mentioned temperature. I think we talked sun exposure. Peaky blinders, peaky blinders. I really can't see you all. Fantastic. In 1649, I'm still here. Thank you for your kindness for the TikToks. In 1649, Trombo captured the Tower of Drogheda. Do you know the Tower of Drogheda in Ireland? Yes, of course I do. La Hub. Yes, indeed. Homo sapiens moved to Caucasus Mountain, which had no sunlight, where the word Caucasian comes from. Excellent. 60 TikToks. I'm still. What are you doing, man? You're throwing money at McClue. Thank you so much. Woo! 60 TikToks, guys. Love the lives. Thank you. I'm still here. We love having you on. And thank you for your thoughtfulness, your kindness, your generosity, and even just for caring. How wonderful is that? What's your favorite beer, ale, alcohol? I don't drink alcohol at all. And my cousin got diagnosed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that lymphoma. Yes, indeed, an awful thing. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We are extremely busy on here. Sunday morning, Scotty McClue popping up live to say thank you do to every single one of you. How good is that? Do you like apple juice? I do. I used to, in Manchester, I had a beautiful house with three apple trees outside the window. Uh, human viability is due to countless adaptive mutations, but in essence, we are the same. Geodog, you're 100% correct, you clever, clever man, an academic and an intellectual. Uh, do you notice the similarity in Appalachian accent, Scottish and Irish? Yes. Uh, do the Appalachians not play the mountain harp and have folk music? My goodness, you're sending me gold microphones. I'm still here. Oh, watch your pennies, though. I don't want you bankrupting yourself because of old McClue. Do you believe in aliens? Of course, we've seen some on here. They're called trolls on here. Toasted tatty scones are fried. Uh, both Alan Mitchell, what I would do, pop them in the toaster and half do them, then pop them into the pan and fry them. Stop. Delish. Uh, do you like any American sports team? Yes, I love the Harlem Globetrotters. Um, I love the, the Winnipeg Jets ice hockey team, although I know that's North America. Um, I love the Boston Sox. I love the, uh, the, the Yankees. There we are. Fantastic stuff. It seems though country western bluegrass music is extremely influenced by Celtic folk music. Of course it is. Americans asking is hag is good. It's gorgeous, but you can't have it in America. Groundskeeper William. Fantastic groundskeeper William from Simpsons. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, groundskeeper. I truly hate racism. It caused so much hate and hurt. The way to get rid of racism, geodog is to not acknowledge different races at all. Only one race, the human race, we're all from it, that's it, finito. And racism will just die out. You know, how often are you stoking the fires of racism by talking about black people and white people? Just talk about people. The monarchy is utterly ridiculous. You know, it's C. Bob Miller. Have you been drinking something or smoking something? The monarchy is outstanding and everyone knows it. 
and they're self-financing, and they bring us in money, and they bring fortunes in trade and tourism. You know, outstanding, fantastic. Her Majesty the Queen, our sovereign lady. Yes, indeed. No, no, everyone loves the monarchy. They're very big in Scotland. In fact, I was just having an argy-bargy with the nationalists that the first thing they need to do if they're serious about independence is embrace the monarchy, status quo, and then you can move on to the politics. Remember, you're talking about splitting the parliament. You're not splitting the crown. There we are. Fantastic. So there you go. So sorry, C. Bo Miller. You need to change your attitude, pull your socks up big time, get your act together and realize what's happening on the street. Live in the land of the real, not the fantasist. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Do you watch Formula One? Not really. It's a bit too yeah, for me. You know, fantastic. Uh, I support them. Yes, everybody does. Are you watching the British Grand Prix later on the telly? Well, uh, speed and power, it's too noisy for me. There we go. Thank you for my lovely Maria Knight has sent two beautiful TikToks. Maria, you spoiled me yesterday. Spoiled me. Maria Knight, guys, just so you all know, is one of the most generous women in the world. One of the loveliest people you could hear from. And she has virtually financed Scotty McClue from the start. And Maria is so generous. She gives and gives. I really was very concerned about the amount of giving Maria has done because I don't want her to bankrupt herself. So, Maria, nice and easy now on the throttle. You were just so. You gave me two yachts and two diamond kings. I nearly passed out. Uh, do you or anyone can still speak Gaelic? Matter Kamaraha Umaha. Welcome, welcome. Hachama. Farchi, farchi, ki, demili, farchi, don TikTok. Aga Scotchak Maklu. Ferentai. There we go. What about that for you? There's only one race, the human race. Skozak, 100% correct. Of course. Absolutely, Lahub. A man, America is infatuated with race. Yeah, well, they need to chuck it. We want Big Donald back. Big Donald was not a racist at all. I'll tell you who are racists. The people that bring in the term racist every time somebody smiles or talks or says anything, says the guys are racist. We need to stop all of that. So no pointing. So the way to get rid of racism, one race, don't refer to people as black or white. Don't label people. No pronouns. None of all that nonsense. All inclusive. The same as Scott McClue's TikTok. That's the way to do it, guys. Are you worried about environmental collapse? Not in the least. There's another thousand years of oil and gas sitting there. Coal sitting there. We haven't even scratched the surface. But there's big money in, in trying to go carbon-free. I can remember the great smogs. Every house had a coal fire. You know, that sort of thing. But you'll find that there's money involved here. Global warming. The earth has been warming for millions of years. When it gets too hot, it cools. We've never had a heat age. We've had an ice age. And uh, what else have we had? Everything. We've had the great flood. We've had all that. But uh, we've never had a heat age. And the earth will start cooling if it gets too hot. You come to a Scottish winter and tell me the globe is warming. Have a think about that, guys. So we're not worried about environmental collapse one bit. All right. What's driving that is greed. Sheer greed. Yes, indeed. I agree. Doing the swanee with racism. Absolutely. Well said. God bless the Queen. Absolutely, Jeff. God bless the Queen and God save the Queen. Scotland's had a monarchy for 2,347 years. Scotland is the home of monarchy. Fantastic. And that will never change. Uh, are you going to watch the Grand Prix? Somebody was asking us that. What tweet 
is the cap. That's uh, Harris. Harris Herach tweed. God bless the Queen. America should have a monarchy. God off. Uh, America wanted Bonnie Prince Charlie, yes, to be their monarch. Bonnie Prince Charlie wanted to be the next uh, a Scottish and English monarch, and he didn't quite make it because uh, they wanted to keep the Hanoverians in. But he was invited by America to be their monarch because they didn't want the Hanoverians. Very, very interesting. Come and join us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClure, and we are live. What's the best cheese in the world? There are so many beautiful cheeses. Stilton, Brie, Edam. Uh, what else have we got? Lancashire, Cheshire, um, Scottish cheese, Aran cheese, uh, cheddar cheese, mature cheddar, mild cheddar. Uh, what else do we have? Busson. Um, I've said brie, haven't I? Yes, indeed. Uh, what else have we got? The salad cheese is feta cheese. You know, these are these are just for starters, I say, Danish blue. There we go. German smoked. Hmm? Oh, wonderful. God save the Queen, says the humble king. We thank you, humble king. There we are, facts. Yes, indeed, I'm giving you all the facts. Have you ever left Scotland or want to travel? Yes, I'm not terribly well-traveled uh, guru uh, in uh, other countries, uh, but I'm very, very well-traveled in the UK uh, and Ireland. There we go. Dinky do. Thank you, Lahub. Brachlin. Blachlinhu. Is that right? Have I said it right? Uh Hello. Hi, everybody. Dinky do. Hello, I.E. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. George Washington was a noble man and had the utmost respect for Cornwallis. Oh, yes, indeed. Scottish cheddar. There we are. Now, hygienic, we'll send you down the Swanee for forgetting we're guests in people's houses and for being a troll. So there we are. So hygienic, um, hygienic option is leaving us, guys, for trolling. Bye-bye. Hygienic option leaves in three, after three. Three. Ray, turn the swanny for trolling. He just forgot we're guests in people's houses, and it's Sunday morning, and he got carried away with puerile language. End of him. Bye-bye. There we go. Yes, it proliferated, so the earth regulates itself. Of course it does, Geodog. There we are. But if they want to push the money into that, people are investing in green power. I love the renewables, but you see, that will be a cost. For a start, Scotland has lost most of its scenery to wind farms. Hmm. Would you rather have teeth for eyelashes or eyelashes for teeth? I'd rather have eyelashes for eyelashes and teeth for teeth. Mm -hmm. I love blue cheese. Yes, indeed, your dog. The Stilton is very nice. The blue Stilton. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. The Republic of Britain. You'll never, ever, ever see that. Remember, as I say, we've had a monarchy for 2,347 years. I am still. Thank you for your beautiful kindness this morning. You have been so generous. I am still here, guys, has uh, given me so many TikToks, almost countless. Dinky do love the accent. I thank you. It's not really an accent. I think it's just the way I speak. <laughs> Oliver Cromwell was a very, very, very bad man. Well, you just said too very sorry. I am still. What are you doing? Maria Knight has sent me five beautiful lollipops. Thank you, Maria. I shall suck every one of those during the day. You are very, very lovely and very, very kind. Thank you so much. And for your big, big generosity so much. Thank you. Thoughts on Winston Churchill, Scotty? He was a remarkable man. He um, was an aristocrat. He was 
megalomaniac. He was power crazy. He stabbed everybody in the back that got in his way. So he wasn't a particularly nice man. He was deeply depressed. He was alcoholic. Uh, so he suffered a lot for his sins, but he decided to face up to the Nazis. He attended a, a meeting in 1940, March 1940, when they were talking about surrendering. And he decided to take over from Neville Chamberlain, who was elderly and uh, was suffering and was also struggling with um, how to handle Hitler. And Churchill just squared up to Hitler, but then it pitched us into a devastating six years of world war. Had America not come and joined us, we would just have been walked over. But the Nazis were defeated, and that was that. So there you go, but Winston Churchill. And then he got flung out after the war. He got back in in the 50s, and he stayed in politics till he was 80. They had an awful job diplomatically getting him to leave the House of Commons. So he stayed until he was 80. So there we go. But uh, he was also a very, very amusing character as well. Uh, do come and join us. He was 50% American. You see, his mother was an American. Uh, during the Carboniferous Earth was super hot and humid, hence our coal deposits. Yes, it just melted the wood down there. Churchill was racist to black in class people. Well, you've got to put that in context. I know that racism is racism, but racism, you see, Great Britain, as it was called at the time, the United Kingdom of Great Britain, and uh, Northern Ireland came later, it came in 1922, but uh, the annexation of the six counties. But um, his racism, you could say that in context, the UK was probably a very racist country because at that time, the Western world did see people who were not white as, uh, as uh, inferior to them, you know, indigenous populations. So, yes from that point of view, but racism was rife across the world. It's like when people accuse Britain of colonizing places, Britain was only one empire. It was the biggest and the most powerful, but it was only one empire. Virtually every other country in the world had an empire. Okay, so let's put everything into context. It's, uh, it's very um, interesting nowadays. It's very fashionable to debunk uh, leadership by accusing them of racism or colonialism or all that sort of thing, slavery, slavers. But um, at the time, it was in context. So there we go. Uh, that doesn't excuse it, but it does explain it. Are you with me? Hey again, lad. Good day. Bino, lovely to have you with us. Hello, sir. Hello, Yurik. Lovely to have you with us. I am still here. Thank you again for my 75 beautiful TikToks. You're very, very kind. Thank you indeed. Do you hate England? Why on earth would I hate anywhere? I do not have heat in my body. You know, I, I just do not hate, you know, and a dreadful, dreadful thing happened to me financially. Uh, you know, a few years ago. And even then, I did not heat, you know. Uh, no, nobody could ever heat England. It's a beautiful country, stuffed full of beautiful people. Who gave me some fabulous sunglasses there? So there we are. So there should never, ever be any hatred in the world. Heat is a very, very strong or weak word. If you hate something, you're shutting off an avenue of learning. You could never, ever, ever hate England. A paper crane, I am still here. Thank you. Where did you get Dinky Doo from? Dinky Doo uh, is my catchphrase for Scotty McClue. It means, is all well with you and the world? Dinky Doo, I say. 
And uh, what does it mean? It means it's all well with you in the world, John. And I trademarked it, and I copyrighted it, and if anybody wants to use Dinky Doo, they have to write to me directly. Mm -hmm. uh, Churchill was a clown. He hated working class people. No, Churchill was never, ever a clown. A clown is a very, very talented showbiz performer. Yeah. Uh, Churchill could do a bit of clowning, but no, he was certainly not a clown. Uh, his hatred of working class people was born out of fear and ignorance because he was an aristocrat. Yeah. So he, uh, he definitely, I mean, I think that's one reason he hated Hitler because Hitler, compared to him, he thought was of a lower class. But you see, Scotland doesn't buy into the class system. We don't go for any of that. Dinky do, how the devil are you? Very, very well indeed. Churchill did nothing in World War II. You know, wrong again. Churchill did a lot in World War II. He started it. Yeah. So there you go. And he was there at the finish. So he did a lot there. What do you think of General Patton? Did he win the war? Yeah, General Patton was a remarkable man. You know? And America was remarkable. I mean, uh, you know, Eisenhower really was the commander-in-chief, not Churchill, because a lot of people didn't listen to Churchill, but they gave him his place as the elder politic. You know, that's the stuff, the elder statesman. What are your thoughts on the Confederate States of America? They are the Confederate States of America. So there you are. Should they actually um, be uh, fully fully entered into the Union. Do tell us what you think. Yes, Patton. Don't forget your main allies, the Australians and the New Zealanders, the Anzacs, Mr. Percival. You're 100% correct. And let's not forget all the wonderful people from Canada and America and Poland. I mean, Britain was absolutely awash with Americans and, of course, Australia and New Zealand. Beautiful, beautiful people. But you see, they were regarded as British at the time. So there's no question of ever forgetting you. Earth has been through many glacial and interglacial periods due to orbital forcing. Yes, and it will readjust. In fact, I hope by being too green, we don't put it, put it out by removing the carbon. I hope we don't put anything out scientifically. You know, because I don't think all that's been properly worked out. Uh, what are you up to on the 24th of December? 24th of December, I'm very, very busy because I'm actually, I'm actually Santa Claus, St. Nicholas. Wow. Okay, cool. Anzacs, big respect to the Anzacs, always. My grandfather thought with them in Gallipoli in 1915 with the Scottish horse. I'll show you a picture on someday. It's part of natural cycles. Of course it is. Pleasant day from Scotland. Jordan, we love you in Scotland. Dinky do. But there's so much money getting behind it. They'll be wanting shares in green energy next. Greed, 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 greed. What did you think of Patton? Did he win the war? I'm not sure he won the war. I'll tell you who won the Second World War. Alan Turing, the mathematician, who we treated appallingly because he was gay. Alan Turing, he helped win the war. He shortened it by two years. Otherwise, the Second World War would have been eight years long. What about that? Andy invented the computer. Racism will never go away. Well, it will go away if we're doing what Scotty McClue says. But you see, you've got to ask, are we going to do what the guy on TikTok says? You should. You should. Apparently, my live streams are the most underrated on the internet. How about that, guys? So there we go. I don't think Abraham Lincoln was as pure a man of the people as we give him credit for. Nobody was in those days, but he certainly did his stuff, you know. And, um, you know, it's a shame he, he went to the theater that night. 
you know. Um, Facebook Marketplace, Donald, TikTok, Pete, NBC News, ABC News. There we are. Pike, Pete, fantastic. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Now then, new Microsoft Office based on uh, yeah, right. We're not going to all that stuff, Pete. I held a claymore on my hands. I didn't knew there the, were that huge and heavy geodog. The claymore took a man's head off at one swipe. You held it two-handed and swung it round. Whoosh. End of person. Where are you from? From Scotland. Scotty, it's good to see you. I am the boss. Lovely to have you with us. Did William Wallace ever meet Sir Robert Bruce? King Robert Bruce. King Robert the Bruce de Bruce from France originally. Bruce and Wallace. I would need to check that one out, Gamer, if they actually did. Irish people also experienced racism. It wasn't just black people. Listen, everybody's experienced racism. Scots experienced racism. English experienced racism. Irish experienced racism. Northern Irish experienced racism. White people experience racism. Black people experience racism. But if we drop the colour terms, if we just drop it, don't refer to anybody as that. So it's out of fashion to say somebody's white or somebody's black. You know? So there we are. Are you busy on two? Very, very busy. Very busy DJ Reindeer. Yes, I have a lot to do and we have to look after Dancer and Prancer. And Donner and Blitzen and all the reindeer. Keep safe. I thank you, Angel. Lovely to have you with us in Dinkido. There we are. Hatred is an expression of fear. Geodog, you are such a wise, wise man. A man of great wisdom. Yes, indeed. Scotty, can you play the bagpipes? No, my father could, though. Show your picture of Big Archie playing the bagpipes. Here he is. Woohoo! There we are. There's Big Archie piping. Is that not amazing? I am still here. What are you doing? Sending me more TikToks. That's Big Archie. Well, guys, while you're on, if you can follow us, that would just be tremendous. Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet. Follow me on TikTok at Scotty McClue. Can we have a follow fest? Where would you put General Pat in winning the war? Very high up the uh, pecking order. Your view on the Highland Clearance is shocking. I think that we now want everybody back repopulating Scotland. Tremendous stuff. Good evening from Oregon. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Nix, lovely to have you with us from Oregon. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I believe you're not far from Canada. Tremendous stuff. We love it. Oregon pine. Do you have a lot of beautiful pine trees? Dinky do. Where are you from? I'm from Scotland. You like England. They give us the worst government. I can remember. That's not England. That's the that's the Westminster government. And they've always given poor governments from a Scottish point of view because they've robbed Scotland blind for 313 years. It's a cash cow. Scotland needs to hang on to its own money. We could stay part of the UK, but we hang on to our income. That's what I think we should be doing. We're too generous. My great-granddad fixed planes in World War II. My great-granddad, when he was wounded out of the trenches, uh, he fixed aircraft in World War I. So uh, your great-granddad would be working on, uh, on Spitfires, Hurricanes, Lancasters, Yes, Lysanders, uh, swordfish, fairy swordfish, lots more mosquitoes. Your view, yes, indeed. Love that chapeau, brother. Merci, mon brère. Oui, oui, le chapeau. I actually named my kids after Highlanders, Connor, Duncan, Lord. Brilliant I am still. What a top man you are. And thank you so much, so much for your kindness and your generosity. Just outstanding. Welcome, welcome, everybody. It's interesting to me that the Romans built London. Yes, indeed. Well, they didn't actually build. They built Roman Londinium. 
but the people that built London are still building it. And the Roman remains are down there. For instance, the River Fleet, Fleet Street, the River Fleet had a harbour up until about 1898. You could sail into Fleet Harbour. Now it's all covered, but the River Fleet runs below London. There's so much about London that's amazing. It's not racism, it's tribalism. Well, no, because you see, you have several black tribes who uh, hate each other. I suppose that's tribalism too. But, uh, you know, they're regarded. And a lot of them would be regarded, I suppose, as the same race. You know, you have a look at Africa. Your live streams are too interesting. Uh, Garou, I thank you. I think the live streams is just what we do. So you will get people perhaps of lower intelligence scrolling past. But the high intelligence, the interested, the people who are genuine lifelong learners will have no trouble joining this live and staying with it for the duration. So tell everybody, share these guys. The only reason that the figures are sometimes a little bit low is because everyone on TikTok doesn't know about this. And I would like TikTok to help here and make sure everybody can see us. So follow us as soon as you can, guys. That's very kind of you. The CO2 scare is overrated. Most CO2 rains out as carbonic acid and natural but weak acid. Yes, indeed. And the trees are the lungs of the world. You know, the world will adjust. It has to. Hello, my boy. 100% correct. I thank you, Jeff. Uh, she doesn't love has just sent me beautiful TikToks. Thank you so much. You are very, very kind. She doesn't love. <laughs> How do we know? Good morning, my dear. I hope you've had a good night's sleep. It's wonderful to hear you. Yusra. Yur Yursa. Yursa. Lovely to have you with us so much. We really, really love having you on here. Bless you for joining us, my dear. Uh, can you say happy birthday, please? I can. Yes, indeed. Do come and join us, guys. Uh, 1999. No, they never. Follow us as soon as you come on. Dink it out. Good morning, sir. Welcome, welcome, every single one of you. This is just fantastic. I'm going to have to go soon, guys. Hello again tonight from Moncton in Canada. Moncton NB. We love you from Canada. Hi from Inverness. Hey, from Inverness, Snakey, where they speak the best English in the world. That's true, you Nisians. Uh, Borada from Peter in North Wales. Uh, Borada, Peter. Lovely to have you. This is Yakida, as well, I say to you. Scotty, when do you give us a round on the squeeze box? We'll love it. Geodog, since you've asked, I'll give you a tune on the squeeze box. Here we go. Are we ready? <clears throat> right, one on the squeeze box for Geodog. This is it, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to have to push off. Lovely, lovely being with you this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Freedom. 
And uh, Scots do all the fighting and much of the financing, most of the thinking in the UK. Boda, you are correct. Thank you so much. Scotty, are we getting back to normal? Let's hope so. Do you think the indigenous people of Australia should have a bigger say in how the country is run? Yes, indeed. Let's get out there. Same with the Maoris. Still going? They don't stop. Dinky do. God bless you, Scotty Lahoub. God bless you, sir, and God save Ireland. Dinky do, everybody. <coughs> Taralas. <coughs>